across to the Rockies and down to Minnesota, 2,500 miles to New Orleans, carrying all the rivers that run down two-thirds the continent, the Mississippi runs to the Gulf. The Mississippi River ain't what it used to be. In many ways, the river is broken. Follow me and we'll stay dry. Yeah. If you watch your step on the canal. These engineers have a plan to fix the river, but it will cost billions. It almost kind of makes you feel uneasy because you're walking over the Mississippi River. So what's wrong with the Mississippi? To answer that question, we need to take you down to the Big Easy. New Orleans is only here because the Mississippi River built it. Specifically, river mud is what built southern Louisiana out of nothing. Thousands of years before Bourbon Street. It's on its way to the Gulf of Mexico. Today, the river is not building land like it used to. It's being stopped by levees that keep New Orleans safe, oil pipelines that boom the economy, the land is sinking, the sea level is rising, and Louisiana is quickly disappearing. Over the past 80 years, Louisiana has lost 2,000 square miles of land. How much is lost every day? Uh, well, the, the, the stat we're using now is a football field every 100 minutes. To find a solution, scientists built this exact replica of the Lower Mississippi. Using airborne laser scans and satellite data, robots cut every single detail into the scale model at Louisiana State University. This is about 190 miles of the Lower Mississippi River. Reduced to the size of two NBA regulation basketball courts. Engineer Rudy Simeo is working on a radical idea. Cutting controlled holes into the banks of the Mississippi River River here and here so mud can spill out and build new land. This gate will open, water and sediment will flow down that channel, natural deltas will be built, land building will happen out in this area here. On this map, the river is wet, the marsh is mushy, and the mud is represented by these black specks. Everything works the way it does in real life, only we remain as giants. How tall are we right now? So given the vertical scale of this model, our heads would be approximately 2,400 feet above the surface. So we're as tall as a single engine airplane would fly. Correct. And we're gonna take off, and we're gonna turn left. And what's our altitude right now? 1,500. So this is a little lower than our head would be on that map. Yep. But this is for real. This is the real yeah, thing. Yeah. David Muth is with the National Wildlife Federation. That's the lower ninth ward below us right now. All of this flooded in Katrina. Flying just minutes outside of New Orleans, we saw the ground washing away. If you look at these marshes from the air, you see they're pockmarked, there's water. What's that from? From subsidence and deterioration. There's no new sediment coming in. So that's the last stage before they break up and disappear. This is where the marsh desperately needs mud. Remember that plan to cut holes in the banks of the Mississippi? Right back over our shoulder there. Oh, this is it right here. This is where those holes will go, allowing river mud to spill out and, in theory, build new land. It is all going to happen right here. Not everyone thinks that is a good idea. Releasing mud also introduces fresh water into one of the best salty fishing estuaries in the world. This place is, is golden, man. It's golden. And they're turning it into complete crap overnight. Coming up in part two, the fight is on. If fresh water comes pouring in, life will change here on the bayou where families survive on catching oysters, crab, and shrimp. So some places where you could get shrimp in the past, you might not be able to get it after this project is built. That's correct. There'll always be shrimp. They might be somewhere else. How much more can we adapt to? If we adapt to any more, we're out of business. 